What's up guys, Cody from Pink Gorilla here, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the internal battery of a Sega Dreamcast. That's what records the clock. Uh, if your Dreamcast is asking you what time it is every time you turn it on, that means you need a new internal battery. Very easy to do. First off, you're going to need a tabbed battery. A 2025 or 2032 tabbed battery. Next, you will need a soldering iron. A size 2 Phillips screwdriver and a Dreamcast. So first let's get started by removing the modem. Boom, just pop that right out. And there's only four screws on here, very easy. One, two, three, and four. So let's just remove those real quick. Alright, once you've got your screws out, you can just grab the sides and just lift upwards to pull the plastic top off. Set that aside. And here we are. And here's the internal battery. So we're going to want to be removing this from the board, but it's easiest first to remove the board from the actual shell itself. So let's get started by removing this ribbon cable right here. Just pull it up. Nice and easy. And then we're going to want to remove these four screws here. One, two, three, four. All right, now that those four screws are out, we're ready to pull this board out almost. But first we need to remove this little wire here. You can just pull that out nice and easy. There you go. All right, now pulling out the board is a little weird because this plastic piece is kind of on top of it. So what I like to do is pull forward a little bit on this plastic piece, the plastic front piece you see here. Just pull a little bit forward and try to pull this board up from there. And there you go. Go ahead and move this bottom piece aside. And be careful because you're going to have a bunch of loose screws here. These ones aren't magnetic, so they don't come up very easily with the screwdriver. Just flip it over and get rid of them. Set them to the side. And here we are. So, this battery is a little bit different than the ones you've probably seen. There are three solder points that you'll want to remove. I like to start with the... So, on one side, the positive side of the battery, there are two points that go into the board. I like to start with the other side because there's only one. So when you do that, pull just ever so slightly on the battery with your finger like that as you desolder this end and it will pull right out. There you go. Now for these two. And the last one. All right, battery's out. So, before we put in our tabbed battery, we're gonna need to modify it just a little bit. So go ahead and pull out the positive end of your tabbed battery and try to make it as flat as you possibly can. Mine came a little bent like this. I wanna try to flatten it out so that uh, I can adjust it as much as I like. And now on the negative end, bend it back so that it's facing the same direction as the positive one. This will be a lot easier to work with once you get one end inside of the inside of the, one of the holes on the board. But um, I guess just follow me and you'll see what I mean. So let's start with the positive side. You can just pop it in either of these holes here. There's actually two options, but it really does not matter. All right, so after you've popped in one of the sides, you just kind of bend and angle the other one and just slide it in the negative end. There you go. Once you get one side through, 
you'll want to solder it in and then pop the other one in. All right, and there we go. Battery's back in place. Let's put our ribbon cable back in first. And when you're placing the board back in place, just like before, pull forward on this plastic controller port and make sure to move this little wire out of your way so you're not sitting on top of it. And just place it in there and take a look at the front to make sure that the controller ports are flush inside of that. Yeah, they look good. Alright, let's plug in the fan. And the ribbon cable. Alright, and just put in those four golden screws. Slide the top back on. The Dreamcast is very jagged, so it's very boxy and square and lots of angles, so it's pretty easy to slide this all back into place and make it feel right. And finally put our last four screws back in. And the modem. And it's good as new. Go ahead and test it out by setting the date, turn it off, unplug it, wait a minute or two, and then plug it back in and make sure the date's saved. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.